What's up guys, Philip here bringing you another review and today we're going to be checking out the Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse. Now they did release an older version of this mouse. This is the version 2 and this is the version 3. And if you want to see the differences between these mice, make sure you stay in the loop for that. And also don't miss out on the Mac version of this mouse. Uh, these are the same thing but one is for Mac and one is for Windows even though they're compatible on all devices. But basically there are some differences and I'm going to be covering that as well. With that being said, let's kick this video off by checking out what was included in the box. So in the box, you're going to get the mouse, of course, a USB-A wireless dongle that connects wirelessly, and you also have the option connect to Bluetooth. We'll cover that a little later in the video. A charging cable that connects via USB-C to USB-A to the front of the mouse, and a quick start guide that will show you some of the basic features on how to use the mouse. Now the mouse does come in a few different color options to fit your desk theme or wherever you're working. It comes with this white color that I have here. It comes with a darker color called the graphite. And then it comes with a rose color that's more pink and friendly looking. In terms of the mouse build quality and design, you can see on the top of the mouse here, it's made of a plastic material which has a smooth finish to it. On the back of the mouse, you're gonna have the silver finish with which has a grainy texturized paint job to it. The buttons that are on the side as well as the top of the mouse are also made of plastic. The only thing that's not gonna be made of plastic with this mouse is gonna be the scroll wheel and it's cold to the touch when you're scrolling. So I'm definitely a fan of that icy feeling when you're scrolling through your documents. Now, something I did like about the scroll wheel compared to the old version of the, the mouse, and this isn't a comparison video, just a quick thing to note, is the old version had a really wobbly scroll wheel, and this one pretty much has no wobble to it. So definitely a fan of how well constructed and polished the version 3 of the mouse is compared to the two. Now this mouse here is very small in size and weight. If you compare it to one of their older mice, this is the Logitech M720, this thing is about twice the size and height and the weight is much heavier. So really a big fan of how they made this thing a lot more portable and easy to use. And I guess that's why they called it the Anywhere because of its portability. Now most mice out there have three ways to actually hold the mouse. And if you're not familiar with the different grip styles, the main one is palm grip, which is where you put your palm on the mouse and let your fingers wrap around it. But this mouse is a lot smaller in size compared to most mice out there. So your fingers are pretty much not gonna be able to get the clickers. So palm grip is pretty much not possible with this mouse unless you have a child or you're someone with really small hands. Now the two grips that kind of work with this mouse or the other grip that kind of works is claw grip. And that's when you put the back of your knuckles on the top of the mouse here and then you bend your fingers and try to use it like that. But I found that it was quite uncomfortable and it didn't really work that way. So I think the best way to use this mouse, at least for my hand size and me personally, was the fingertip grip. And that's when you put your fingers on the mouse and you let your uh, palm kind of float in the air as you're using the mouse. The fingertip grip felt the most natural for me to use and I think most people out there have a similar hand size to what I do. And that's pretty much how you're gonna be holding the mouse. So you might have a little bit of strain on your hand because your wrist has to be kind of be held up all the time. Now if the ergonomics of a mouse is extremely important to you and you want as least discomfort as possible this mouse may not be the best option so you might want to look into their Logitech MX Master 3 which is larger in size and much more comfortable I created a video on that if you want to check it out now in terms of the clicking experience with the mouse I did find that it was fairly average no wobbles no rattles no complaints here with the clicks so they're direct and nice and easy to use Now in terms of the features the mouse has to offer, by default if you don't install the software that comes with this mouse, these two buttons are forward and backwards in your browser or apps that support the forward and backward feature. And the middle button here at the top is going to trigger your scroll wheel to be in free scroll mode or clicky mode. And if you want to customize the settings on how the scroll wheel works or the side buttons, you can really get into depth on that. And I did create a dedicated video on the software, which kind of shows how useful this, act this mouse actually is using the software. And it can be a big 
game changer and how efficient and quick you actually work on the computer. So make sure you check out that video in the description below. There are two ways this mouse can connect to your computer. And the first option is with Bluetooth. If you turn on the mouse on the back and select a profile, you can connect any of those profiles to your computer with Bluetooth. And then the other way to connect the mouse to your computer is using the included USB-A dongle. And that's if for people who don't have Bluetooth or choose not to use Bluetooth. I found that their lag was pretty much the same on both and the lag was pretty much non-existent. Something to note is that this mouse can only be used in wireless mode, but you can have the cable plugged in and have it charge the mouse as you're using it wirelessly. Another great feature that this mouse offers is for people who constantly switch between computers. And this could be really handy for IT workers or possibly developers that are testing websites on different uh, devices. So on the back, you can select different profiles and you can connect up to three computers or phones, whatever device you're using to this mouse. And you can switch between them on the fly without having like a separate mouse laying around on your desk. So this is going to be really handy for those people who actually like to use, uh, you know, multiple computers. So my favorite thing about this mouse by far was the build quality and just overall how polished it was. This thing has like no rattles, no creaks. It just feels like it was put uh, together very well by the engineering team from Logitech. So kudos to them on building that premium feeling product. When you hold it, you just feel like, man, this thing, we're gonna get some stuff done today <laughs> using this mouse. And then the last thing that I really liked about this mouse was how small and portable it is. This thing can easily fit in your pocket, purse, backpack, whoever you are. This thing will fit pretty much in any of your baggage. So definitely a fan of the Anywhere living up to its name. Now, if you are looking for something a little more serious than this, then I would recommend going with the Logitech MX Master 3 because that thing is more comfortable to use for long periods of time and it has more features than this mouse if you need those features. And if you wanna check that video out, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below along with the software review for this as well as where you can purchase this mouse on Amazon. If you wanna stay in the loop on what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you in the loop. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you in the next one.